All right guys, Andy here. Welcome to a 1.14 tutorial. This is how to build a Hunter's Lodge. So a quick look around it and then we'll get building. So inside here we have some barrels. We have a moose head on the wall. Obviously there's no mooses in Minecraft, but you know what I mean. Uh, we have some meat here and it's being smoked. We've got some smokers down there with campfires underneath. You can just about see that campfire underneath. Uh, smoking the meat, curing it, making it edible, I don't know what it does, preserves it. We've got some workstations in here and then across here we have got a little bit of uh, room to sleep in and then you could maybe add some armor stands and put some leather tunics as if there had been some clothes made from the hides of things you had caught and of course there's plenty of other little nooks and crannies in there to add some detail and then here we've got a little dog house you could put your wolves in there as well so that is the hunter's lodge what do you think it's an a-frame shape it uses the 5x5 easy building system <laughs> let's get it done well if you like these kind of tutorials hit that subscribe button and tap the notification bell grab yourself a campfire some stripped spruce logs normal oak logs fences made of birch and spruce you've got smoker trap doors and right in the middle there you've got some ochus woodus slabus and if you would like a full list of everything, every block in this build, plus some extra helpful pictures, then f and then uh, check out my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda. For one dollar, you'll be able to get a full kit list. Make yourself a little five by five shape here with oak logs, one block up off the ground, or two blocks if you like. Then with a gap of three, make another five by five shape. So coming up by two, sealing in the gaps here with horizontal logs and then you've got oak wood slabs to fill in the gaps nine oak wood slabs in each square do two more of those squares they share the middle one the middle log and there we go that is our basis of our lodge right in the middle we're going to add five campfires in a line with some smokers on top now there's a lot of smoke produced and it kind of gets in your eyes so I'm going to put some slabs temporarily put some oak wood slabs on top <laughs> just because there's so much smoke of course you could also um, not put the campfires down until a little bit later on okay we're counting to four we're bringing these uprights up by four blocks and then add some horizontals at the top so one two three four one two three four then some more horizontals and there we go Exact same thing on the other side. Cool. And once that is done, the next thing we're going to do is fill in all these gaps. Let me just spin the camera around so you can see exactly what I'm doing. This is this gorgeous stripped spruce spruce stripped logs so they need to go pretty much everywhere in these frames um, we're going to glide down the middle you can see i've taken out the middle block to act as windows and in these two last blocks i've put in doors we'll get another good look of where those doors are but if we just spin the camera around you can see exactly where these holes go just right in the middle that's the essence of a 5x5 five five build. It looks very ordinary, but we're going to jazz it up and make it look cool. So add in your doors and in the windows. Uh, I haven't gone for glass this time. A bit more rough and ready in a hunter's cabin. I've just simply gone for some fence posts made of spruce. At the front, we're going to add on a little bit of a balcony. So you can see exactly how that's done with another 5x5 five five section just sticking out. And in the middle, we're going to be putting some slabs. But what we'll do is we'll spin around to the back of the build. We're at the front right now, so let's spin the camera around to the back of the build. And you can see we've got a much shallower little balcony on the back, sticking out only by two. And once that's done, all you've got to do is fill in all the gaps here with some nice oak. Oakus woodus slabus is what I call it. This is a good time to maybe remove these temporary blocks on the smoke coming up from the campfires. If you want even more smoke, of course, you can put hay under the campfire. So there you go, you've got a nice balcony on the front, a little balcony on the back, and there we go, I'm covering up the smokers again with some temporary grass. 
Okay, now we're going to do some steps up and into the Hunter's Lodge. First of all, some fences made of birch. And now, now we're moving on to the steps up. So come out by two, down by one. And then two rows of three slabs should be enough. One, two, three, one, two, three. And then we're going to go for spruce stairs. So we're going to have two stairs facing in the way and then one turned on the end. And then one, two, three, four, five to turn around the bottom. And that provides a nice little almost curved entrance at the front of this hunter's lodge. Okay, great progress so far. Fill in the tops of your little house areas with again upper oak wood slabs and we're going to add on kind of upper balconies as well with some oak wood logs and more birch fences. Okay, I'm grabbing, grab, grabbing some more ingredients down here. Got uh, birch wood gates. I've got an oak wood stair, some barrels. But the most important thing I've got here is some oak wood stairs. And that's what we're going to concentrate on. We're going to make this apex roof, this triangular roof. So look, how many of these do we need? Three blocks wide of roof before it starts overlapping. So we've got one, two, three stairs plus the underneath bits. And then your in line with the, the build that we've got already. And what you want to do is bring this roof right to the very middle. And when you get to the middle, put one last upside down like that, and then turn around and put one facing up the way like that. And we're gonna do exactly the same thing on the other side. So count away from the build three blocks, so you're placing that one there, one, put on a back, two, put on a back, and then three. And then we can speed this bit up again because this is exactly the same as what we've just been doing. Remember to do a little upside down bit right there. There we go, great. And then grab yourself some, I think it's, is it spruce fences next? It might be spruce fences. Oh no, we're gonna do a little bit more stairs here. So just uh, bring the stairs up to the top. And then I think it's the spruce fences that are gonna go in next. So I recorded this and now I'm doing a voice over on top. So I've gotta to quickly remember the order I did it. Yes, here we go, some spruce fences. And these are going to hold some iron bars linked down to some quartz, uh, quartz ore, which is going to represent the meat. Add a row of Trapidorus maximus on top, and that can let the smoke come through as well once we remove the grass. So just spinning the camera around nice and slowly, giving you a good view of the sides. If you build a 5x5 five five build, send me a picture on Instagram all throughout July. I'm going to try and repost on my storyline any of the pictures of your builds that you send me in messages on Instagram. So if you follow me on Instagram, just message me, send me a picture of what you've been building. Okay, add in your stairs. I've also put some uh, birch buttons in some cool little junction places and a couple of trapdoors. Uh, we've got are they spruce trapdoors over the windows. Okay, it's so now it's time to put this smoker to use. So hang down some iron bars right above the middle and the ends of your smoker positions. I do apologize for the camera right here. It's a little bit off to the left, but you can see I'm starting to hang down this quartz ore that I think you can get from the nether. Hang it from the iron bars, and that's gonna represent the meat that has been hunted, the animals that have been hunted, chopped up and hung above the, uh, the smokers. And release the grass, you release the smoke, and there we go, the meat is being preserved. Is that how the hunters do it? I don't know. Anyway, you've got to do this exact same roof on the other side. I've just used some commands there to speed things up for the video. But yeah, so what we're going to do now is dive down into the build, first person view, and add in all our details like the moose head and the interior details. Yeah, exact same roof 
on the other side, a nice apex or a frame. Okay, let's grab our last few details. So you're gonna need some smithing tables, fletching tables. We've got some andesite wall, uh, a furnace, a bed of your choice. <laughs> I've chosen exciting gray. A uh, crafting table, and we're going to dive into the menu here just to grab some clothes as if they've been made from tunics. Now, a tannery is maybe an option I would put into my kingdom. Um, if you haven't seen my kingdom builds, and check out the uh, playlist in the down below. I'm building a medieval kingdom in Minecraft. Um, let me just put this fletching table down for a second because I want to do the moose head first. I forgot about the moose head. So the moose head is there as if it's a hunted animal so it's uh yeah dark oak stairs and a birch fence gate kind of look they kind of look moosey to me i think they look moosey and what we can do is put exactly the same thing on the back of the build as if you've been really very busy indeed with all your hunting skills right let me grab some more gates like that Boom. And we're going to pick up these ingredients again. And what I'm also going to do is take off shaders because it's very, very dark on the inside. I'll be right back when that is done. Right, I've taken off my shaders, which gives me all my fi fancy shadows. And we're going to go ahead and put in our details. Do you know what? A barrel should really be part of these details. Let me just put my armor stand down and grab a barrel. Barrels look great out the front of your build. Really good for adding some really atmospheric detail. We also need lanterns as well. <laughs> Man, I'm doing this in all kind of the wrong orders. Let me grab some lanterns. These look absolutely uh, epic. Just pretend it's all going well. Here we go. Lantern there. Do you know what? There's another block I want. Mm, definitely some spruce stairs are going to look really, really cool. Here and here. Look at that. Yeah, definitely. That's a keeper. A definite keeper and we can go here and here and let's pop a few more lanterns around the place there in here we can go there and over here we can go there as well perfect right what else do we need right somewhere for you to keep warm so we're gonna have a little furnace there what you can might want to do is that I don't know it's up to you and put that there as your little chimney okay I didn't do it over here I just left a gap but that is entirely up to you and then what else have we got we've got a bed to put in here I'm gonna put the bed around that way a little bit of a workbench over here and maybe some fletching tables right here and then yeah this is definitely where I'm gonna put the armor stand as if uh, let's grab an item frame and our rabbit hide as well. This would look really good on the wall. Yeah, as if you've been making some clothes, maybe out of leather, maybe out of the rabbit hides as well. These could go, oops, there. There we go, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. And then across here, I'm simply going to go for some smithing tables and some crafting tables and fletching tables. And that's pretty much it. I'll leave it up to you guys to add more detail in here. Uh, but what I can do is grab a door, put a door there, there, this place is looking smoky. Uh, is there anything else we want to add? Yes, you can add this. This is simply some trap doors and I think these look pretty smart round about here. You can have a little T shape as well. Like that. And that is the Hunter's Lodge complete. Super easy, super quick. Um, I've spotted one last detail. Grab some oak stairs and some birch fences and we can put a little bit of a barrier on the back just here. Stop you falling off. And here we go with some oak stairs. Would look good just right there. And you could put some backs on those stairs as well if you wanted. And you might also want a bit of an A-frame. Three blocks, leave a gap of three one two three come in like that and like that and like that i think no there and there and there it looks a bit like an a-frame where you might be hanging up a bit of an animal carcass and you might even be cooking it so here we go we can use this nether quartz or to represent the, the the poor animal and you could even stick a campfire so these are some of the details you could put on the outside of your build
Okay, one last detail to add to this build is a little place to add your poochies. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. This is where all the little wolves can sit as if these are going to help you when you are out hunting. So you can see exactly what I've done there. I just made this little structure here out of spruce trapdoors, one of the joys of building in Minecraft 1.13 and above. Of course, this is Minecraft 1.14. I think an oak door looks pretty smart right there. And of course, you would get your wolves or wolves and stick them in there and you are good to go with your hunter's lodge. What do you think of the hunter's lodge? Let me know in the comments if you like this kind of build and if you're a five by five builder, let me know as well. Slash home island and you can see this is me linking straight into my series where I am building a five by five medieval Minecraft build on a giant four tiered island and that's the hunter's hut uh, sitting right there and fitting nicely into our island so do check out the playlist if you want to catch up on that island medieval kingdom build very exciting to do and the hunter's lodge fits in really really nicely so check out the playlist to my medieval kingdom on an island and i hope to see you guys very soon in a video very shortly i'll be back tomorrow with episode five of this kingdom if you're watching this when i'm recording it and putting it up which is the first of July and if I don't see you until the 4th of July and you're in the United States then happy 4th of July in three days time take care for now ciao ciao open the blocks be with you